I start by like romantically drinking hot chocolate like every makeup video for the holidays ever. Okay. Wow, that's really hot. <laughs> Andrew's trying to kill me. So Andrew made me an actual cup of hot chocolate uh, because it's a holiday video and they always have to start with hot chocolate apparently. So hmm, we're chocolate this. We've like nicely laid out the table and left no room. You guys know it's here, so I'm just gonna put it behind the fireplace. Uh, or I guess it would be in the fireplace. Cool, so as the name of this video might suggest, today we're gonna be talking about just some basic holiday gift ideas for your favorite maker. So whether that maker in your life is your kid, your brother, your sister, your dog, your frog. These are things that we think they might like, which is translation for these are things that I really want for Christmas. So family, I hope you're watching, uh, but you know, I would appreciate getting most of these gifts, so I think that your family and friends will too. Okay, so let's start with kind of the go-to, which is the Arduino. So um, if this maker is new to electronics and new to um, electronics, yeah. So if this maker is new to electronics, Arduino is like the best thing you could get them. So um, this is an Arduino Uno, which is like the bare bones basic Arduino. But basically, it's the best way to add electronics or programming to a project for the first time. So say you built a you know, matchbox car, and now you want to be able to control it. You can do that via an Arduino. Um, so it lets you up upload code versus with a really simple Arduino IDE. And what's beautiful about Arduino is that everything is open source. So there's like endless libraries out there to uh, get that maker started. And if they're on the advanced end of things, they've been playing with Unos for a while, then I would suggest the Edison, um, which is like Intel's amped up version. Uh, it can do way more than the Arduino can, but it's also significantly more difficult. Can I outsmart packaging? Oh, there we go. So this, this guy, as you can see, has a ton more on it. And then the Edison itself generally comes separately and that gets popped onto the breakout board. Ah! Yeah, so that would go on. And that goes right there. Edison's really good for internet connected projects. There's IoT on here. So like, ah! Okay, I'm gonna put this away before I totally wreck it. <laughs> so the next thing that I would suggest is a Weeha screwdriver set. And I'm like uncharacteristically in love with these screwdrivers to the point where my lab told me to stop stealing them. Okay, it might be like a screwdriver is a screwdriver, but these screwdrivers are, um, they're just life changing. That's the best way to put it. They're basically just really high quality, nice screwdrivers. Um, I, I really wanted a set, like the big set of these for my 18th birthday, but my boyfriend at the time was, did not get me them. So these, yeah, just really high quality screwdrivers and they come in a range of sizes. So you can get like anti-static ones if you're working on electronics. Um, these are kind of the standard cheaper, the ones with the, the red tips. Um, but they're nice because you can like, kind of put your palm in and twist like that. Uh, you can do that with like kind of nice craft, craftsman screwdrivers as well. But I just really, really like working with these. Something that's really trendy right now is VR. And you probably, or I guess I can't speak it for you. I can't afford to get my roommates and my friends uh, Oculus Rift or a HoloLens because I don't have an extra like three grand or eight or five hundred dollars to blow on them. Not that I don't love them. Um, but I do, you know, maybe have like ten dollars for a uh, unofficial cardboard. Are these ten dollars? Ten ish dollars. Um, and these let you pop your smartphone in here. Ah, tighten that up and then get your VR experience um, like this. And they even have like blinders, like horse, horse blinders, so you don't get distracted by the things out in the, in the realms. If you want to take it up a step in the VR world, I'd recommend the Merge headset. So this is an $80 piece of foam, um, but it has actual Fresnel lenses in it. And um, it can also, it has AR functionality because it has this pouch right here. So back on the uh, shop tools, hand tool kind of vibe of things, uh, Combination Square is actually a really useful tool to have around that a lot of people overlook when they're filling out their shop. So uh, it's a little too big to be a stocking stuffer, I guess. Um, but 
it's just incredibly useful and replaces a lot of the tools that you might already have. So one apron pocket or one back pocket or something instead of like 10. And while we're on a similar shape of items, uh, quick clamps are significantly better than C-clamps, and once you go quick clamps, you'll never really go back. Um, clamp the pickle. Oh, clamp the pickle. Okay, so Andrew's mom sent him a yodeling pickle for some bizarre reason. All right, so if your life was not just changed, then there's something wrong with you. So when you squeeze this sucker, you get smaller, and that gives you... Now, if I squeeze it one more time, this pickle would shatter, and Andrew would be sad, so I'm not going to do it, but clamped pickle. <laughs> Look at that. All right. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So the gift that I would be most excited to get, and this is like one of the only things on this table that I actually own myself, is a soldering iron. Uh, I would say specifically a soldering station which gives you control, temperature control over what you're doing. It's just all around nicer, nicer rig to have. And um, I think I've, I've said this, I say this a lot, that I just love my Hacko soldering iron. I've abused it. It's like covered in dents. I don't know how you dent a soldering uh, station, but I've thrown this in so many suitcases, traveled like around the world with it, and it's still kicking. And I've also left it on overnight, and it's still fine. It didn't burn my lab down, so that's good. I'm going to take a hot cocoa break. Now that it's cooling down a little bit and I can taste it, it's like less good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so on, similarly to a soldering iron, um, if you know your maker friend already has a soldering iron or if you need a stocking stuffer, hey, actually, there's eight days of Hanukkah, there are so many soldering iron accessories, I could go on forever. So I'm gonna refrain myself, but I'm just saying, it's a really good idea, and then you can end the eight days of Hanukkah with this incredible, beautiful soldering iron. Just saying. Ideas. Okay, helping hands are a really nice little tool you can get. This is like the cheapest type you can get. Um, there's also some fancy ones, and we'll link them down below. But basically, it lets you. Yeah, actually, a wire here. Okay, this is all one wire, so this is not. But but say you needed to solder these two wires together, you could see. The other thing that I love so much, and I'm still waiting for someone to get me these, these are one-handed wire strippers, so they make stripping wires so much easier and faster, and they're also just, they make a fun clicking sound. Basically, you put your wire in here and strip it, and your wire is stripped now, and it was one-handed. <laughs> so beautiful. So if this maker in your life is of the younger variety, I would say my two favorite tech educational toys right now are Little Bits and Dash and Dot from Wonder Workshop. Um, Little Bits is a electronics kit that lets you snap circuits together in a really fun, engaging way. Also, the CEO and founder of Little Bits is like my nerd hero. Aya Badir is really paving the way for a lot of us in this field, so definitely hats off to her. Um, and just the design of the toy is incredible. Uh, the other one, Dash and Dot by Wonder Workshop, is a robot that teaches your kid how to code. So, and I personally, I think it's done in a very engaging way that promotes kind of art and music and stories in engineering, um, which in the end is what engineering is all about. So those would be my two suggestions for the younger audiences, um, but they are both kind of on the pricey end. Even if you can't afford something like that, something like Snap Circuits is a great option. You can get that at any like Best Buy or Micro Center. Another fun gift that I would love to receive are circuit board nail wraps, and I'll throw them right here. They basically just make your nails look like circuit boards. There's kind of those standard nail stickers like I'm wearing now, except uh, circuit boards. You can also get stamping tools that have like gears and circuit boards on them, also for kind of geeky fashion love. Um, similar to the soldering realm, you can get a multimeter is kind of a must-have tool for any budding electrical engineer or maker or anyone, literally everyone should have a multimeter, um, even if you're just checking random shit that brokes, bro brokes that broked. If, <laughs> if the things in your house are broked, you might need a multimeter. Um, yeah, and you know, this is a fairly nice one. Uh, oh, my pocket size one is in my lap, is in my office. 
and the pocket size version, so if you need like a stocking stuffer version of a multimeter, I don't particularly recommend this one, but it's really cute and it fits in my purse. And if all else fails, you can always go with the yodeling pickle because Andrew and I have gotten a massive kick out of this thing over the last couple days. Uh, yeah, so on that note, uh, this has been another episode of Beauty in the Vault. Hopefully this gave you some great ideas for the favorite, ma <laughs> I can't take this seriously, for the favorite makers in your life. Um, and, you know, we enjoyed really putting together a list of things we want for Christmas. Oh. <laughs> All right, make this pickle stop. I can't. We're done. <laughs>